YouTube and Facebook people. Welcome back to my videos. Today is a haul video. Me and Chad went to the Goodwill outlet in Colorado Springs. And yeah, this is what we picked up. There wasn't that much great stuff. I'm not sure if it was the time of day we went because we went during the night time or if it's just the Colorado Springs bins. Not sure, but here's what we got. <laughs> Um, American Eagle Outfitter Jeans. These are the skinny stretch size zero. And they're just a pair of distressed jeans. Those will be for my niece. Next is an American Eagle, the Arctis size zero. These also will be for my niece. She really likes her American Eagle jeans. Um, another pair of American Eagle another pair of artiste and these are also a size zero so she'll be happy <laughs> i didn't find too much to sell but my niece will be happy so that's good um next i got a brassiere for my mother you don't need to see her her undergarments i know i've said it before but i will say it again i don't think there's anything wrong with buying bras used because girls these days don't wear bras I'm not sure where this trend came from, but they're just free balling and living their life. And I don't really see a difference. Like you buy a shirt and you don't know if that girl's been wearing a bra or not. So you don't know what's, just wash your bras, wash your shirts, wash everything. Cause you don't know. Okay. That's it. Next is this J Jill size eight. And it's like a pair of gaucho pants type things. I don't know. I liked them. They're gonna be for me, and if not, those will end up in my posh closet. This is Columbia size large, and I really liked this because it's it reminded me of like a free people top. So it's this hooded long sleeve shirt, and it reminded me of a free people because the bottom, how it has like that hemline. I'm not sure what you call it. I'm gonna call it a hemline. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. I'm tempted to keep it myself. I'm not sure, but yeah. Next is a Banana Republic size six. And it's this really cute cap sleeve. It feels like really silky. I couldn't find the material tag, but it's a wrap dress and it's hard to get a, a good picture of it, of what it looks like. Cause it's not wrapped obviously, but um, this will be for me. I think I'm gonna try it on. And that'll be for Chad's uh, brother's wedding because I don't own anything cute. This right here, this is the cutest thing I own. Yeah. That's sad, but true. Um, this is also for me. Can't really see the tag anymore. It washed off, but it's a J. Crew size large, medium. Long sleeve top. I know we're heading into summer, but I don't have really any long sleeve shirts um arona size extra large again for me i like my stuff a little baggier so i always size very up <laughs> but it's just a cute button up plaid this is for my mom she likes tie dye i thought it was cute somebody did a very good job at tie dyeing it that's for her for work um, Chad picked this up. No idea what brand it is. I can't read that. I don't know if this will be mirrored for you guys, but yeah. I don't even know what size it is. Oh, size large. <laughs> um, he said this was for like their tow truck to put in there for whoever does their towing. Because their shop owns their own. He's a mechanic. Okay, here's backstory. You don't need to know it because it's just a stupid vest, but he works at a shop. He's the foreman. Foreman? Foreman. He's the foreman. That's how you pronounce that word. Um, yeah, and then they have a, their own tow truck, and this will be for the person to wear to be safe. I wish I knew how to edit my videos. I would edit all that out, but there you go. There's useless information nobody needs. Um, this is the brand Entro, size small. And their dresses do pretty good. I'm not sure about the tops, but it's really lightweight. So I figured I'd take the, the chance with it. I mean, it's really pretty. Like, look at all that detailing on it. Super pretty. <laughs> I really need to learn how to edit. 
Um, speaking of Chad, he has his own YouTube channel. He is the Practical Mechanic. And if you couldn't tell by his name, he does like car videos. He fixes them and he teaches you how to fix them. And he does reviews of tools. And his videos are really good. He spends hours and hours editing them. Um, I don't. I try to get my videos on the first try. Never works. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know this. Um, yep. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to Chad. Woo uh, LuLaRoe, size large. I don't pick up LuLaRoe unless it is new with tags, which this one is. And this is a Cassie, size large. It kind of looks Christmassy to me, but that's okay. I'm okay with um, letting it sit in my closet until the season comes. I have enough storage space. If you've watched the video, I think I have it on YouTube. Um, I do... What am I trying to say? <laughs> it's late at night right now, and I'm trying to do this video. But on my channel, I have a video of... I moved my storage from a walk-in closet to a entire shed which is really nice to have the space and it's easy to get your inventory out um yeah go watch that video if you want if you don't want to don't it's okay too um yeah patagonia men's size medium it does have a run in the butt i don't know if you can see it you can kind of see it but that's okay because these are just for chad they are like a base layer for your bottom half to keep your bottom half warm. <laughs> I shouldn't have started talking like that. Sometimes I watch Jersey Shore and when I do, I like binge watch it and I'll watch a whole season in one sitting. And then for like the rest of the week, I will talk like I am on Jersey Shore. Anyway, Nine West, size 10 slash 30. And the style, oh, does it have a style? No. It, it kind of looks like a pair of boyfriend shorts to me, though. Really cute. Poshmark. Uh, this is for Poshmark as well. This is a men's size small Columbia fleece vest. It's really, really soft. Um... I can't believe how many times I'm saying, um, I don't think I typically do that in my videos. I don't know. I'm going to rewatch this and probably cringe so hard at every single time that I, um, J Jill <laughs> size small. This is a hundred percent linen and I love linen, but it's a cute pink color. I just don't think this would go with my skin tone or else I would keep it. I'm more of a neutral kind of girl and it's got side slits that go up pretty high really really cute yeah I'd say majority of my uh, closet is gray and black and a some white but I Marie kondo it and when I did I took like an after picture of my drawers and it's kind of funny because it's just like black and gray color does not bring me joy express <laughs> size eight um i don't think there's a style on these ones either no but they're really cute it's this darker wash distressed pair like i like when jeans have just like a little bit of distressing on them it's a skinny leg but what i really like about them is the zip i love ankle zips it makes me feel young again and like I'm a teenager, it does. Um, next, simply, simply Vera Wang, size 12. And like, this isn't going to be a big flip with these, but it is a fast seller. People know what they like. Like they have their brands that they really like. And these are one of them. Even I am... Um, I pick it up too when I find them in my size, but these are a skinny leg. Vera Wang is a very comfortable jean. Next, I also don't typically pick this up. It's Vera Bradley, but it's not because it doesn't sell. It's because I kind of think 
Vera Bradley is ugly. I dress like an old lady. Sometimes I dress like an old man. I have proof on my Facebook. I like to um, post like outfits of the day or whatever. And typically I look like an old Asian man because that's my style. Um, but there's just something about Vera Bradley that's too old lady. I'm not sure how to explain it. But anyway, it's like new and it's cute. It's got like the little ID thing. Um, <laughs> that was a long explanation just for a tiny little wallet thing. This is my first time, I think, picking up Lucy. It's a size small and it's either a top or a mini dress. I can't tell. These days, who knows, but it's a deep V neck, deep V back. Um, it's really soft. Ruching on the sides. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a dress. I'm sure some girls would try. <laughs> anyway, um, this is Cabela's size small. It's really, really soft and it doesn't come out quite it's a prettier lilac than what it's coming out as, but it's got a hood and it almost has like a cowl neck type front. It's hard to show it. Long sleeve and it's got side ruching as well. And then the last thing, this is what Chad found and I love it. He came up to me and he's like, I know you don't normally pick up this brand, but he already knew because every time he shows it to me, I'm like, no, no, no. This one I liked. Let me find the tag. It's new with tags, if I can find the tag. I can't. Maybe I'll find it here in a second, but I need to get on my knees for this one. Okay. This one is a heavy winter jacket. It's got a faux fur hood. And it's like an army green, like a utility jacket, because it's got a bunch of big pockets, and it's got the the thing on the sleeve. Did I even say what brand it was? I know I said I don't pick up this brand and then I think I never said it. But I just saw the tag. There it is. The brand is Anna. Um, I already forgot what it stands for. A new approach. I think this is sold at like um, Sears? JCPenney? I'm not sure but it's not a very good seller but this style is really really cute and I might keep it for myself. It says it's a size extra large but it doesn't look that big so I don't know. I'll try it on. It looks really warm. Originally look $200 they wanted. That's crazy for a jacket by Anna. That's crazy. Sorry. Okay and then they reduced the price to 60 and then they reduced the price to 20 but it started out as 200 and then I picked it up at the bins for probably like two to three dollars. So that is an awesome deal. I'm excited. I hope it fits me. If it does, I will sell every jacket in my personal closet just to keep that one. That's how much I like it. Um, but yeah, that is the end of my haul. That's all we found. Not too much, but better than nothing, I guess. Um, oh my gosh. If I say um one more time. I'm going to punch myself in the face. That's this that this video needs to end now. Um I cannot not say it. So, I'm going to end my video now before I punch myself in the face. I almost did it again. If you watched, thank you. Bless your soul, bless your little heart, because holy crap, I would not have watched this video myself. I mean, not for the right reasons. Maybe I'd watch it to laugh at. I cannot not say, um. <laughs> if you saw anything you liked, I will put my posh closet down below. It's Bella Milk, just like my YouTube channel. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to think of a word that's not um that I can say. Holy smokes, is this how all my YouTube videos are? This ending is so long. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go rewatch some of my videos now just to see if I say um a lot. Holy smokes. 
I'll see you in my next video. I'm ending it now. Outro's done. No outro for this video. Goodbye. <laughs>